lady here welcome back to the channel guys i'm back yes i took a small break from youtube and it was much needed there was a couple of reasons i took a break um i want to welcome everybody back to my channel and i want to welcome ever all my new subscribers and all my new viewers today i just had to take a break guys i am so glad i took a break one of the reasons i took a break is because for those of you who are new to my channel this is going to be a denture vlog guys i don't do a lot of denture vlogs but today i'm going to do a denture vlog for you guys back in september of 2020 i had maybe 12 teeth left in my mouth i had no back teeth i had nothing to chew with nothing and the two lower canines or IT, whatever you want to call them. I was using those with the top to actually try and chew with. The one over here was busted out, very painful. And the one over here was damaged along the gum line and extremely painful. Um, I had to limit what I could eat. It hurt every time I ate. I was getting headaches. I think I've had mild infections. Um, so when I lost my job at the end of August, my husband and I decided I had I got full unemployment, full benefits. I mean, why not take care of it now? I've been talking about it. I have been talking about it for like two years because of the pain and the discomfort um, that my original teeth were giving me. My two front teeth were two great big giant rabbit teeth. They were horrible. Um, as a teenager, I did have braces, but as I reached adulthood, I started having health problems. I was diagnosed with fibromyalgia um, after my son was about a year old. Well, I started having migraines when my son was a year old. Really bad ones. And that was one of the first symptoms of my fibromyalgia. And then when my son started school, I was fully diagnosed with fibromyalgia. And at about the age of 35, all of my teeth just began to fall apart and break. It didn't matter if I brushed, flossed, whatever shit. I could be brushing my teeth and little pieces of my teeth would break off. They were literally just falling apart. I was having to go at least twice a year to get an extraction done that cost $500 every time I got a tooth pulled. So, on September 2nd, I went in and I had full extractions with immediate gingers put in. If you've ever thought about doing this, I'm going to recommend the immediate dentures because it takes a lot of getting used to. I'm still not completely used to mine. I'm grateful that I have them. And it is a rocky road. Um, the first, shoot, like the first 14 days, really hard. If you're going to do it, make sure you have plenty of time to heal. It is painful. I'm not going to lie. And it can be gross at times. And painful. And lack of sleep. And you can't eat. You're hungry as heck. You're eating mashed potatoes. Um, I ate a lot of oatmeal for nourishment. Puddings. Jello tomato soup soups that didn't have any lumps in it because i couldn't chew anything um i did finally eat a soft scrambled egg a lot of the times i was eating without my dentures in just because it was so uncomfortable and so painful i want you guys to know after my first reline in november things did start to turn around my dentures fit really nice um, I'm, I could eat better. I mean, I, jeez, in October, I guess, 
I started making myself eat with my dentures, learning how to chew. I will tell you, I do not like eating chicken nuggets with my dentures at all. To me, it literally feels like I'm chewing on a rubber tire. And, you know, it could be a specific brand of chicken nugget. Because, you know, like the chicken you get from Chick-fil-A, they're not nuggets. They're round. They're not like... The square chicken nuggets, they're round. Those I can eat and they're not as bad as like eating like the Tyson ones or the store-bought ones. The store-bought ones, the square ones, those to me are like eating rubber and I still can't hardly eat them and I don't like them. Uh, now I can eat almost anything and I do. I can eat ham a hamburger. It's not easy, but I can eat eat a hamburger um i can eat sandwiches french fries onion rings casserole spaghetti pastas anything chicken last night we had vegetable lasagna i think a hamburger was my hardest leap and you can watch videos that will help you learn how to chew and eat so anyway a couple of days before Thanksgiving, I had my first red line, and that's when everything turned around. I started gaining weight. I could eat better. I was happier. My dentures fit really well. And I guess last week, last week I started noticing my upper plate is not fitting as good, and I'm probably going to have to start putting adhesive in the top plate again. Um, and in the lower plate, because of the soft reline, you can't put very much adhesive in it because it all oozes out because you have a reline in it. But I still do it because I don't have a lower ridge right here at all. It's flat. They want me to get the implants. Not going to do it. I'm not doing any kind of snapping or implants at this time because the snap-ins and the implant dentures i see a lot of negative and people having a lot of problems with the snap ins i see their bras falling out and they're in a lot of pain no nope, not gonna do it i'm good and like i said in february i do have another soft reline coming and i'm really looking forward to that because if it fits as good as the first soft reline I'm good to go. But that was one of the main reasons I took a few days off. My dentures were bothering me, and they still kind of are. And I just wanted to take a break. Also, I wanted to do some decluttering in my house. Going back to work full-time, you know, it is a struggle when you and your spouse work two different shifts to try and keep things going and keep things up. So I took a break. To take care of some declutter and that is done so with that being said i owe you guys a nespresso review and let me tell you i'm glad that i took that break i have made coffee with that nespresso i have made espresso, uh, express espresso with the nespresso and i made my first macchiato yesterday i used the milk frother what you do is you make, I take my flavored creamer, which is you can do. If you look it up, you can use flavored creamer in your frother machine. Froth it up. You pour it in the cup first. You let the, the espresso go through the maker into the cup. The foam floats to the top. Espresso at the bottom. I slightly stir mine. Oh my God, it was so good. So guys, I do still owe you an espresso review and I've decided it will be in a on a morning vlog like a Saturday or a Sunday messy hair and all we'll have a coffee time I will show you how um, I'll have to decide if I want to make I may make the macchiato and a coffee and show you how to do it the espresso, you just put it in there and let it run into the machine, and it's a shot of espresso. So that's that. But I want to show you my favorite coffees. I have another new favorite coffee 
I want to show you guys, and I will make a macchiato as well and show you how to make a macchiato. I'm looking forward to that. I love my machine. Um, coming up, I think I'm going to do another coffee haul, and I'm going to do, I'm going to try to find my three favorite coffees and a couple of espressos for macchiatos and do another haul and order those. You guys, I love you so, so much. I'm sorry I took a break, and now I'm back. Also, I am going to try to vlog every day this week, no matter what. Look to see if there's a short, a mukbang. I might try to do a mukbang, mukbang, whatever you want to call it. This week, I'm thinking about ordering Chinese food again one day this week. I love my Chinese. Uh, I want to review a couple of other products as well that I've been using that I really, really love. Um, one of them is my GoPro that I use for my daily vlogs. I want to give y'all a review of my GoPro. I absolutely love it. And I, I want another I want another GoPro. I'd like to to buy another bundle. So guys, I have lots of content coming. I'm gonna try and vlog every day this week. Try to look even if it's just a short, keep your eyes peeled. And like I said, Saturday or Sunday morning, I'm gonna do the Nespresso review. Um look for a mukbang or a mukbang one day this week. I wanna do that. And a story time. We're going to have to throw in the story time one day this week, guys. Also, I did not wear a new t-shirt today. I'm already showered and in my, my what I call my jammies, the oversized valve spar shirt. Um, this one, I was proud. There is nothing on the back. I used to be a paint and stain specialist and trainer for Lowe's in 2016 and 17. And that's how I acquired this shirt anyways guys comment in down below if there's a particular thing you want to see any type of vlog hell if you want to see a eugenia genie akuni vlog down below if you want to see any kind of drama vlog give me you know tell me what you want to see uh if you want me to talk about the united states i'll do it comment down below what you would like to see I mean, I'm up for anything. I'll tell you dirty jokes if you want. I don't have a problem with that. Um, I will throw in a couple of work story times. I have a work story time I kind of want to talk about. Um, it's not funny. It's more of a, a serious thing. I'm trying to work out how I want to do it. Um, so that people are not offended or anything. But I think it's important to talk about. Anyway, you guys. The sky's the limit with vlogs. I had to take a break. But I love you all. If you somewhat enjoyed this vlog, give it a thumbs up. Like I said, I've got a muck vein coming. i got a story time coming. And some product reviews coming. Subscribe to my channel, guys. Tap that bell. Don't forget to tap all so that when I post new content you won't miss a thing i love you guys so so much thank you for watching and i'll smell you later